Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers and this is Raijin do it yourself tutorials and today I will be continuing to where we left off last time um, and last time uh, we have I have created a video tutorial regarding on how to create or draw a character pose for your anime uh, line arts and designs so, yeah so this time in this tutorial I'll be showing you that we will not be copying in character pose from the internet and downloading them as our reference but this time we will be using a software tool yeah and this software is named design doll design doll okay so in this uh, software uh, you, as you can see it involves a 3d image a 3d model of a person here which you can uh, change to whatever pose that you like to change or alter its its body into uh, to any look that you want something like this you can change uh, the anatomy of its body yeah and this and the good thing about this software this software is free and that and it is not heavy into your computer so let's get on with it so this time I'm gonna show you to uh, this character looks uh, childish so I'm just gonna change uh, to make it look more like a uh, I will use a female model for this time. I'm just gonna make it change to more mature. Uh, I'm gonna add some boobs in there and adjust the body like that. And then, and the good thing about this uh, software is you can change to uh, you can change the 3D models to any shape that you like like men muscular men thin men uh, sexy female thin female fat female and uh, fat male you can do everything that okay so I'm just gonna change it a bit then the legs okay so I think that's good enough now you can change how the uh, the length and size of the body since I think the head really looks big so I'm just gonna change that and in order to do that let's click on this uh, button here okay so I'm just gonna click over that and I'm just gonna wait there then I'm just gonna so that the neck will look longer then I'm gonna make the head the shape of the head smaller okay so that okay i think that's good then here i'm gonna make the butt looks more bigger Shorter, I guess. Something like that. I think that's good for me. Then, now you can change to whatever pose that you want this uh, girl model to be like. So, just all you have to do is just drag. Like that. Really nice. can change how something like that right okay and then here okay really really looks good then buddy good as you can see now we have a really nice looking uh, 3d model of a girl that which we can trace on later on into our Photoshop um, software or into paint Sai or any drawing software that you wanted to you can trace this and in order to do that um, 
the good oh yeah i forgot to tell you the good thing about this is that you can import this image oh i mean export this image into any angle that you want it see you can export it like that like this or you want it to highlight the behind part something like that you can do that something like this uh, top view a side view you can do all this part you can export that the way that you want it to or how you want your art to look like too okay so you can do that you can and like that it's real nice good the good thing is that it has already has a shadow so there you go and um, a landscape wherein you can add images into it too later on so if you want to uh, uh, export it into a flat image just do click this part here export flat image I'm just gonna go with PNG or JPEG uh, BMP JF so I'm just gonna go with PNG so I'm just gonna go with I'm just gonna make a girl one girl post one there you go let's see now you have a good image or reference wherein you can draw to into your Photoshop or into your paint tool size software. So yeah. Uh ah, okay. Um oops, click so many things. Uh yeah, you can do that. Uh you're just gonna open up file, go to desktop since it's in desktop here. And as you can see, there, boom, you can create that one. Create a new layer above it. Then I'm just gonna change the opacity. Something like that. And then I'm just gonna add a new layer above it. And then put it down. And then I'm just gonna color it white. And then I'm just gonna change the opacity so it's much more visible. Something like that. Then, there you go. You can trace this image now. So, yeah, really good. Uh, Design Dell is really pretty good software and it's free to download okay so um i'm gonna add another uh well if you're satisfied with the results of this uh design doll then i will i'll add a new uh item a new object here a 3d model another 3d model model 2 i'm just gonna name it model 2 so yeah if you don't uh, if you find in the internet if you do if you find something that uh uh, if you find if you don't find I mean poses that you like you can create here something like a fighting scene if you're creating a manga and you want to have a fighting scene and you don't uh, you don't uh, what you call this you don't have uh, a character pose and you don't know how to draw the anatomy well so this is the great thing about Design doll because you can create many more 3D models. Just I'm just gonna flip it, something like that, like facing to our female character here. I'm just gonna okay. I think that's good. I'm just gonna change the anatomy of this one. I'm just gonna turn it into a male character, strong male character, bulky one. Um, okay, I'm just gonna add like that. Oh, I mean like this. And his arms a little bit muscular. About like that. Then his face, because his face is uh, it's not most satisfied with his face. Okay. And the legs and feet. I'm just gonna go with here. Strong guy, but it looks stupid. So I'm just gonna change the orientation of its body by clicking in this button here. I'm just gonna change it. Okay, so I'm just gonna raise the head and I'm just gonna. Okay, something like that. Body size. Just want to okay. 
bigger. Bulkier. Bulkier, yeah. Something like that, a guy who wants to plummet a girl. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just gonna change uh, hands here. I'm just gonna make it bigger. We can edit it later. It will take some. Uh, this editing here will take some time, so I'm just gonna uh, go with it. It's like, I want to kick this girl's face. Then I'm just gonna uh, raise this guy up. Chill. Self. And I'm just gonna change the orientation of her hand like here. As you can see, you can edit how the hands look like. And you're gonna close it, so like defending herself. Like that. And her face. Face. Her facing facing him like what seriously you're gonna jump on me then I'm just gonna change the rotation of her hand here and the other left hand I'm just gonna close this it's like she's ready to punch the shit out of this guy you can see you just have we just have created 
created a fighting pose between two 3D models, which later on we can render and use for uh, our tracing for our character pose to create an anime line art. Yeah, which pose do, uh, which angle do you find really great? I think here. It looks great here. Yeah, looks great there. So I'm just gonna export it to flat image. Fighting pose, fighting pose one. Okay, save. So I'm just gonna close my design doll uh, software here. I'm just gonna save that. And then I'm gonna open my Photoshop here. I'm just gonna close this one. Then I'm gonna be creating a new uh, new canvas. I think 2000, 2400 height. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it 2000. Then width would be 2600 or 3000. Let's see. Okay, something like that. So I'm just gonna open up the uh, fighting pose here, guys. As you can see that. It's really nice. Control shift and for a new layer there. Then there's your image, and just gonna resize it to a preferable size. Okay. You hold shift so that it will it will not distort its aspect ratio, original aspect ratio. Okay. Ooh, it's really great. The image looks great. Something like that. It's really pretty cool, pretty neat. I'm just gonna change that to a layer and then first layer I'm just gonna color it white so that it will be more visible. I'm gonna change the orientation here. Something like that so it's much more visible, the opacity. Okay, so I'm just gonna add new layer above it, and then I'm gonna trace it. I'm gonna trace this using my uh, A graphic tablet I'm just gonna use this one here uh, all these brush presets are just default brush presets of Photoshop's yes so yeah I'm gonna trace it now and I'm just I will gonna speed things up so that the video will not be longer okay so here we go
Okay guys, so I'm back and as you can see I have completed uh, the line art and the uh, design doll that the reference design doll pose that I've created so darn as you can see it's really really nice the image really looks good and you can uh, edit it more to look more nicely so yeah you can do the same thing that I've done so you're just gonna go into uh, let's see here we go uh, this is the problem with uh, the genius easy pen because it will uh, stop working if uh, it has a mouse with it so yeah so I'm just gonna open my brow browser here and then sign type into sign doll okay so I think this is the software in which I have then loaded yeah here uh, this is the official site, it's terrawell.net. This is where I have downloaded uh, the design doll software. So I'm just gonna download it, it, it here. It has supports for Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista. It's really easy. Version, the current version is 4.0.9. You can download it for free. And the pro license here. It's seventy-nine dollars. It's posing, scaling, morphing. It, it has um, lots of features, but I'm using the free. You can do many things about free. I use uh, Design Doll only for referencing for character poses. Yeah. So I hope uh, this video tutorial is helpful to you guys. I hope that uh, you can make more character poses more uh, efficiently with using uh, using the software tool design doll sorry about my uh, my uh, my talk to you guys because I don't really create uh, uh, what you call this script in making video tutorials I hope that uh, yeah this helps and if you have some questions regarding on uh, design doll uh, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. I will try to answer that. And if you have some issues in your graphic tablet, if you're using uh, the same as me as uh, a Genius Easy Pen i405X, I will tell you guys um, uh, there is an issue about this uh, graphic tablet if you're using it uh, using the graphic tablet together with the mouse. Sometimes the when you use the mouse, uh, it will just remain here, and you cannot, you cannot move the mouse. So you have to use the graphic tablet again and try to move it so that, so that the mouse will be responsive again. Yeah, so that's normal, I guess, with uh, Genius Easy Pen i405x. Yeah, it's, I, it's normal. Okay, so if you have more questions or if you have suggestions for any tutorials, uh, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope this video tutorial is helpful to you and my computer is having some issues now. So I think it's time to say goodbye and see you later guys. Goodbye.